welcome back to my channel today we are doing a Christmas deep clean with me and I'm so super excited to share this with you guys there are a couple areas in the house that really needed to be taken care of that's kind of been neglected and so you will see in the video those areas but a lot of it is focused in the master bedroom the master bathroom and then I did catch up on dishes because they were overflowing and then I also had three loads of laundry so I went ahead and took care of that as well I am so excited for you guys to watch this video I'm hopefully getting it up by Christmas Eve and it'll give you guys um, some motivation to get some things taken care of in your house right before Christmas and you have company or maybe you're traveling and want to come home to a clean house so without further ado do not forget to like this video if you like cleaning motivation videos and um, also subscribe to my channel it means so so much to me we hit 200 subscribers on here 200 of my YouTube family members and I love you guys so much it means everything to my family so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the cleaning video I love you guys so much and I hope you enjoy it last year I Like I said, we have a lot of things to tackle today, and since I had three full loads of laundry, I wanted to get a load started. So I'm going to go ahead and get a load started, and then from there we are going to move on to loading the dishwasher. I actually prefer to run the dishwasher at night because it runs for like two hours and so if I run a full load at night then in the morning I wake up to a clean kitchen and all I have to do is put dishes away but this particular night I was very tired not having it and I believe we were hanging out at my mom's and we were out a little later than usual so I just came home and left the kitchen dirty. But normally I like to load it at night, that way I wake up to a clean kitchen. So comment down below if you like to load your dishwasher at night or if you prefer to run it during the day, let me know down below. Every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside, we gather okay, y'all. These baseboards and the back of this door were just horrendous. We have two cats, so they love to like play behind the bathroom door, especially whenever mama goes in the bathroom. They think that it's just a prime time for them to run in the bathroom and play or sit under my feet or groom themselves or whatever the case may be. So the baseboards were disgusting. They were full of hair, dirt and grime. And then of course the bathroom, the bathroom is moist and it holds moisture. It was just so disgusting. So as you can see, I'm like taking care of the baseboards. I'm all down on all fours, but it was like so satisfying to see clean white baseboards. So that was like the main event in the bathroom, taking care of these disgusting baseboards. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having. 
having a good, good time. Every single time I was in the bathroom, it ain't long before one of the cats come to see what I'm up to. And I can promise Santa's coming to visit. No, he wouldn't miss this in Christmas times. This Tile Plus Mold and Mildew Stain Remover is really, really good, you guys. And we actually found it at the Dollar Tree, I think, for $1. So my husband likes to just spray this all over the shower walls, again, because it's very moist in there, because you shower in there and then you close the glass, and so, like, a lot of moisture just stays in that room. So this Mold and Mildew um, Tile Plus Cleaner just kind of makes sure that you don't build up any mold or mildew in your shower and then here I am being ghetto and just splashing water on the walls with a pitcher. <laughs> no idea how nasty shower doors could get and it was very satisfying cleaning them off
when I started cleaning off this bathroom counter, I got embarrassed. And take a look at this toothbrush holder. Ooh, that thing is nasty. I, that thing, I don't even know what to say. There's no explanation for how disgusting that thing is. So let's go ahead and get it cleaned up. It's time for me to move the first load into the dryer and get a second load started and then I still have another load after this one. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and admit it. We have not even so much as looked at these blinds or the window seals or the windows since the day we moved in here. You wouldn't have believed the, du the dust, the dirt, the grime, the spider webs that came off of these windows. It was absolutely like horrific. So as you can see here, I am actually using a Swiffer sweeper, the dry sweeper dust pad to wipe those off because I actually don't have a duster. I'm currently in the market for one. So if you know a good one, leave it down below for me in the comments. But I use the Swiffer dry sweeper pads to clean, like to dust around the house. And you would be shocked at how much dust I got up off of the blinds. Making plans, what we're gonna do I feel so blessed that I can 
be with you Cause God knows that I've been longing for you yeah, I just wanna hold you close You know the stars are shining just for you Let's take a walk And we can follow the moon Not till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy Love and so beautiful Kissing on a mistletoe Baby, with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day with you I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it is? Now y'all know I keep it real on my channel But I almost didn't include this clip Because you can literally see the layer of dust on the TV stand and that is so incredibly embarrassing. But this is a deep clean video, so the good, the bad, the ugly.
had to slow this clip down and bring y'all in close. If you are a true clean freak, then this right here is going to be oddly satisfying to you, watching that dirt fall off of this fan. Comment down below and let me know if you're the type of person who has to sleep with a fan on. I don't have to sleep with a fan on if the air conditioning is set right, but my husband, like the AC could be on like 60 and he still, for whatever reason, needs a fan going. So this is the fan that we keep by the side, by his side of the bed, and as you can tell, it needed a little bit of TLC. Load number two in the washer is complete, but the dryer is still running. So here I'm just taking the load that was in the washer out and letting it sit in a hamper and then finishing up my laundry. So I'm getting started on load number three. And then in a little while, the first original load will be done out the dryer and I'll be able to continue drying everything. But I felt like I was never gonna finish laundry this day. So the microwave is another area of the house that I have just completely neglected since the day we moved in here. And so what you see me doing here is making my own little makeshift microwave steam cleaning solution. So I recommend using the largest mug you have in your house, but any microwave safe bowl or cup will do. And you just fill it with water. You splash in some of your favorite um, cleaner and you splash in a couple capfuls of white distilled vinegar if you have it, it's not really necessary. And then you just stick it in the microwave and you let it go for 10 minutes and that's gonna loosen up all the gunk and grime and burnt on food in your microwave, that way you can just wipe it clean. all right y'all so before i throw all this dirt and out of here i just wanted to show you guys this is why i have a problem spending a lot of money on a vacuum cleaner right now because we literally only have carpet in the master and in our um spare bedroom and it's just me and my husband right now so we hardly ever go in that second bedroom and this thing gets the job done i got it on sale at walmart it's bissell brand i got it on sale at walmart for like 15 or 20 dollars but i think even the normal price is like 30 dollars I'm going to try to link this vacuum down below and it looks a little ratty because we've had this thing for like three years now but I mean I literally got it on sale and it's beat up and it's old but it gets the job done like this is crazy so for all of my people who are satisfied by stuff look at this that is crazy that is unreal 
fifteen dollars look at that this is a cleaning video so you shouldn't even be shocked <laughs> but when I say deep clean this is what fifteen twenty dollars got me I just can't bring myself to spend a lot of money on a shark or a Dyson right now maybe once we have a dream home and we have a lot more carpet and floor to keep up with maybe but this thing literally picked up all the stuff off my floor for less than 20 bucks so I wanted to share that with y'all and like I said I'll link this little itty bitty vacuum down below maybe you live in an apartment like us maybe you only have carpet in your bedrooms maybe you want a vacuum but you can't bring yourself to spend a lot of money go get you one of these little itty bitty thistles and you can take the little floor roller part off and you can just go around you could take this and clean in your car you can clean in your couches with this thing so I mean we like it, it gets the job done so Let's move on to the microwave because it's beeping. As you guys could see when I opened the microwave to take all the things out of it and wipe it down I did have to use an oven mitt because everything obviously in the microwave is like scalding hot because you let it run for 10 minutes with virtually nothing in it you pretty much boiled cleaning solution for 10 minutes in your microwave and all the steam and whatnot just was in there to kind of like permeate and like soften up all the um, debris and the grime and stuff so like if you have a tray in your microwave it's going to be very hot like if you have a rack in your microwave like we do it's going to be very hot so use an oven mitt or like a towel or something to grab it out because it will burn and then as you saw when I was wiping off the glass plate when I was wiping off the rack all I literally needed to do was wipe it down with a damp cloth or a Clorox wipe because it was so soft from being um cooked pretty much with the vinegar and cleaning solution that is like the best kitchen hack ever and i recommend that to anybody it's the easiest way to clean your microwave so the first load of laundry is done drying i'm going to take that out and get a second load drying So here is a little laundry hack for you guys. If you are like me and you absolutely hate for laundry to just be sitting around in baskets, but you also feel unmotivated to put it away if it is sitting in a basket, a little tip for you is do what we started doing. As soon as we get done pulling the laundry from the dryer, we dump it on the bed. And we do that because we have to get in the bed at night. And so 
you put your laundry somewhere where you know you have to take care of it otherwise it'll be in your way and that way you never have laundry just sitting around in baskets getting wrinkly or you can't find anything or whatever so that is what we always do we take it from the dryer we dump it on the bed and then that way it must be put away that day before we can get in the bed So unloading the dishwasher is the last thing I'm gonna do for the night. It has been about three hours and I am whipped. So I am going to have a seat and wait on the other two loads to finish drying. I'm gonna get off my feet and I'm gonna start uploading and editing this footage that you are looking at now because I have about three hours worth of footage to go through. And I am going to treat myself to some cookies in a clear American sparkling water because I deserve it. I am beat. But the house is clean. Everything that I wanted to take care of is taken care of. And I am pleased with that. I am so, so thankful for you guys. And I'm so happy you guys decided to stick around and watch this video. Having your support, your views, your commenting, your sharing the videos. It means everything to me. Please don't forget to like and comment down below your favorite part of a deep clean. I love y'all so, so, so much. Let me know if you like this kind of content. I'll be doing more of it. And I cannot wait to check in with y'all again on my next video. Love y'all so much. Bye.